Dr. Ketchum, so you said that joy can be discovered, it's a choice, and it could be pursued. Can you tell me how joy can be pursued by adolescents? So to answer that, we have to first look at what it means to be a Christian. Hmm. Christians don't live in isolation. So from the very beginning, how is it that we're teaching teenagers that they're part of a larger community of faith? I grew up in the era of youth ministry when we talked about Jesus. Um, it was most important to connect teenagers to their personal encounter with Jesus Christ. And in the middle of the world in which we live, where God can be another consumable product, mm. how is it that we think about the community of faith, not as something that dispenses joy or dispenses experiences, but it actually gives them um, a place where they have a, a place to belong. Mm -hmm. And when they belong, then they have a story that they're part of with other people, and I would describe it as a shared identity. It's mm -hmm. not just your identity or my identity, it's our identity. And amidst that, um, to know the story of faith is to know what to pursue, and even to be able to identify what is joy mm -hmm. that belongs to the saving acts of God, which are present, where God's redeeming, where God is working. Um, and for that, it gives them a very tangible way to know how might I too pursue this joy that bursts up even in the midst of the very difficult um, parts of our lives.